Hi everyone, Romaine Rivera here and it's been two months since I tested positive for COVID-19. It's 3.11 in the morning and I cannot sleep. I got admitted at CCMC last night around 9pm. Good morning everyone, it's technically my first day here in CCMC. I wasn't able to sleep well last night because a lot of thoughts ran into my head like I was overthinking. So this is like my morning checkup. I have here my oximeter or whatever you call it. Yeah. Testing positive for COVID-19 really changed my life. It, it made me appreciate the small things in life that I took for granted. You know, when I was in isolation, I had my meals packed in these, you know, styrofoam containers. And in this one meal, they gave me um, just one tiny dramette. I'm not hating on the food, honestly. You know, it humbled me down. It made me appreciate literally the small things in life, like, like that tiny dramette. The only COVID-19 symptom that I had was the loss of sense of smell and taste. And that made me appreciate this God-given sense, you know. My sense of taste diminished they're slowly coming back like I can taste the pork and most importantly I can taste this watermelon I feel like I'm gonna cry <laughs> I really got to taste the watermelon flavor and also the pork flavor I don't think I would have ever, you know, come out stronger with that experience if it weren't for my mom. Because my mom basically um, did everything. Um, my mom took care of me and I'm so sorry. She delivered me. A container filled with dragon fruit one time while I was in isolation and she wrote, Let's beat COVID-19 together. When I read that quote, it really um, lifted up my spirits and it really motivated me to really get well, to really get better so that I can give my mom the life that she deserves although i can't give that right now but it makes me it pushes me to work harder so that i can provide for my mom you know i'm still terrified of covid 19. i'm still terrified of going out the virus doesn't choose anyone those people who tested positive with covid 19 they're not just a statistic, they're not just a number, so we have to be really proactive in keeping our COVID numbers down. There's so much to be scared about, but you have to fight for yourself.